Hi, welcome back to Box of Lights. Welcome to Murph. We're in year two. I do have one little correction to make, actually. I don't know. Sometimes I just lose sight of what I'm doing. Last time I was in this active row, I placed a building here, and then I activated the camel market, which is perpendicular. It's not in the active row. You can only activate the camel market if it's in the active row. So if I'm placing my master meeple here, 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 or here, right? Um, I placed it here and placed a building here and then lost sight of what I was doing. So that shouldn't... I grabbed a white cube, which I haven't spent yet. So that camel should be back with me. That should be back in the supply. So do look out for that. Um, yeah, I just get a little bit lost in the video sometimes. Okay, year two, and it's me to go first. And this time I can go here and activate the camel market if I wish. But with a camel in hand, I don't mind actually going here. I might be able to push my way to second place at least. Especially if I put this guy somewhere up front. He's probably going to go in here. Depends what he draws, but yeah, he's probably going to go in here. So maybe I'll block that spot off with a high courtier. Interesting. All right, let's go here. So we're going to then activate which? I'm going to go library. Um, so I get a tan cube, an orange cube, a purple cube. And then I'm going to take the library action. So remember, when you come here, you spend cubes of a different color. All right, see the not equal sign? All right, so I'm going to do, I could spend all three. So with three resources, I could take three scrolls. And that takes my total to four scrolls. Okay, I have one from last year as well. Now there's one additional thing here. These are called breakthroughs. When you've achieved two breakthroughs, you take one of these breakthrough cards, which gives you a boon. It's like a bonus on taking actions, or a discount, I should say. When you reach four scrolls, you take one of these, six one of these, and eight one of those. Okay, so I've reached two and four. I can take a discount now on either of these actions. So you look through them freely and decide which action you'd like a discount on. I'd like a discount action on the mosque. So I'm going to take this as my two boon, or my breakthrough. And then for the four, because I've actually got four, so yes, you can take multiple. These let you use any one of the four coloured resources as a wild, just like a white. I might just go purple. So I might just take the purple. So purple is now wild. Okay, so I've got these two breakthroughs. Okay. And my four scrolls, which I get to keep. Now remember, scrolls help me fulfill contracts, but I don't have enough influence yet. I've got to push myself up that influence track as well. Right, that's my turnover. Let's see what he does. He's going to go next. So he can only go in one of these middle three spots. Oh, and he's choosing the library action as well. So we've got library here, two libraries here. Right, he's going, he's going in this one, the library here, right? There's the four library actions. There's only this row available. Um, it's on a yellow building, so he's not placing a building. So he's going to activate twice the library action. Okay, it doesn't matter whether he takes this one or this one. He's going to do it twice. Okay, number of buildings is the number of actions, library actions he takes. So two buildings, two. He's going to take two scrolls. Okay, taking his total to three. So he's going to take a boon as well. Now actually, the rules tell us that you compare how far up the mosque track he's advanced, how many caravan cards he's taken, whichever is highest. So he'll take either the, uh, the mosque one, which I've taken, or the caravan. As it goes, if there's only one available, he's taking the caravan. So he never wants the marketplace or the palace. Just ignores those. Okay, remember, there's always at least one left, because you can only take one boon of each level. So he's taking caravan. So that's not really going to help him until that action, or unless that action becomes available. We know it's on the bottom too. So that's okay, that's worked out all right for us. But what this means is he can always, when taking the caravan action, for dummy player, for us it's a discount. For dummy, it means he takes the action an additional one time. Not dummy, corrupt magistrate. All right, that's it. So, end of round. So I'm going to go at the back. 
I could push myself up it by spending a camel, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to spend the camel, push myself up to second place. He comes in at the back and grabs the camel, and then I put the high court here first. And because I'm still the lead player, if I placed the high court here last time, I still get to place it this time. Okay. What I think I want to do is start building some walls and getting some influence. So I'm going to put this guy right down the bottom here. And I think we'll go here. I'm going to go here. Place a building here. And activate the walls. I've got two blue buildings in this row. I'm going to claim a tan and a blue. So I've got three all together. And... I can take the walls action. Now when you take the walls action, you can go freely buy as many walls as you've got resources for. So I think maybe I'll buy three. So with one tan I can buy this. With one blue, I can buy this one. That only costs one. Okay. With this purple, I can't buy one of these because this one is going to cost me two purple. But I do have my boon now that says purple is wild. So with that, I'm going to buy another one of these tans. All right, so I've got three walls. And I want to go and get as much influence as I can and also protect my buildings. The question is, which buildings do I want to protect? But what I could do is something like this. That protects these two and that one. But this one will fall because of the attack from the south. So I'm only protecting that one building. But I could place my third wall here, and that would protect those two buildings. Okay, makes sense. So this is a real puzzle. There's so many layers to this game. It really is. So here I've protected two buildings with three walls. Another option is to go here and here, and then here. And that just gives me tons of influence. I kind of like this idea. And I'll tell you why, because it gives me tons of influence. Because you get one influence every time you protect one of your own buildings, and you get two influence every time you protect an opponent building or one of the high courtiers. So that would be one, two, three from that wall, and then one, two, three from that wall, and one, two, three from that wall. Okay, so that's nine influence. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which means now I can claim contracts at level two, and I can have up to three different spices. Okay, excellent. Now, I don't have any resources yet, so I still can't claim a contract because all contracts cost one resource cube plus scrolls and goods. Okay, I've got the scrolls and goods. I don't have any cubes left. All right, cool. Next it. I've done my turn. Uh, right now, it's uh, Corrupt Magistrate's go. He's going to go palace. So where's he going to go? He's going to go here because there's a palace action here without a building on it. Yeah, one two, three, the fourth one's here, so he's actually going here. Taking this action, placing a building. Okay, right, there's two buildings in this active row, which means he's only gonna place one servant in the palace. He hasn't got spices, he hasn't got the moss track. He's now got three Scroll, so he's going in here, he's only got one good. Okay, now let's do end of turn. So he's going to grab third, but place a camel, take second spot. We're going to go into third and grab the camel. So we spill from the back, remember. And then High Court is going first. I already know I want him to go in here. Place a building here. It's dangerous because I've filled up this row, but they're all going to fall. Okay, he's going next. He's doing marketplace. Okay, so just once. Marketplace, marketplace, that's gone. Marketplace, he's going here. There's only one empty marketplace. And he's going here, activating three buildings. He only ever does this once, irrespective of the number of the buildings. So he's going to place 
one of his trade routes in an outer city if he can, which he can, and that's here, which is going to gain him one favour. And one common good and one luxury good. So now he's got three goods and three scrolls. So he's back to denying me points when he goes to the palace. Um, oh, can he fulfil contracts? That's a good question. So let's go back over here and have a look. They're going to try and grab the most valuable one they can. So we're looking at these. And yeah, they've got three goods. So either of these contracts are good. These are worth four picture points. These are worth three. These two are worth six. And given a choice, they'll take the one that's highest up. Because what's going to happen is these are going to start to disappear. So then this is a six as well. But they like to take the ones with the highest influence requirements first. And then given a choice between these two, they like to take the one that allows them to deploy a soldier. So they're taking this contract. OK, and they're going to fill that with the goods they have. So they're going to get six points at the end. So that's common good. That's a common good. Uh, and that's a luxury good. All right, there we go. So they fulfilled that contract. Now they still have those goods. Remember, they don't have to pay cubes. They still have those goods, so they'll still count when we sum up for the palace, but they can't use them again to fulfill another contract. And now they're going to grab the lead. That gives them six points. So they've gone up to 11. Right. We're losing. And I'd really like to take a mosque action if possible. We're going to go in here. Yeah. We're going to place a building here and activate that mosque action. But we could if we wanted to. See, now we're activating the middle row, okay, which is where the camel market is. So we could actually be a little bit cheeky here and gain a white cube or gain a favor. I think I'm going to take the white cube and I'll show you why as we're about to take the mosque action. My aim is to push up this track as far as possible. I do need favour, because remember my favour is down here, and to score the points from the palace I need favour. I don't have any, but we might be okay. Let's take our cubes, so we've got an orange and we've got a blue. I'm going to take the mosque action, I've got a white. Okay, let's come over here. Remember too, I've got a discount. I can use this discount once, so this doesn't act like um, I'm going to pay four cubes, right, to push up the mosque track. So I can pay one, two, three, and this is effectively one more, okay, four cubes with this discount. Next time I take a mosque action, I can use this again. What I do is I take one of my discs, and I pick one of the four paths. Remember, there's four players in the game, so there's potentially four players using this track. Let's say I take this path then. Okay, so the first step on this path is going to cost me one purple cube. I can pay that. Push up, grab a camel. Lovely. Next step up is going to cost me a teal cube. Good. Let's push up. This gives me one of these rewards. We'll deploy that in a minute. Next step up is going to cost me a tan cube. Okay. I'm going to use this discount. Push up. This gives me a favour. I'll take that in a minute. And then lastly, an orange cube means I can step one more space and that gives me one of these resource bonuses. Perfect. So let's spend our cubes. We'll use this, we'll put that back in our play area for next time. We've got our extra camel, and we've got this to place and we've got one of these to place and we've gained a favor. Awesome. So I've got one favor, which means I can score one of these things. And now I can place this somewhere. I think I'm going to place it here. That's a good right for me. And then I think I'll take the, the plus purple, because purples are good for me, because purples are wild, right? And I might just place that one here. And when you place this, notice I've covered up the soldier spot here. If there were a soldier here now, I'd remove it. And when you deploy a soldier, which we haven't seen, but we're going to. In fact, I think I should have done it already. We'll come back to that. When that corrupt magistrate claimed that contract, he should have placed a soldier. OK, we'll, we'll come back to that. But I want to explain this first. If there was a soldier here, we'd replace it. You can't then place a soldier here because their spot's covered up, right? There's no room for a barracks where that part of the city is dedicated to producing extra resources. Hey, with that in mind, let me come back to this contract that the <laughs> corrupt magistrate completed. They got six points, but they should have also deployed a soldier. Remember, they don't suffer from uh, influence restrictions like we do. Okay. 
So they should have deployed a soldier. Let me show you where that's going to go. Let's grab one of their soldiers. So just another meeple. They always want to protect the High Courtier's buildings. The reason why is they get more influence, just like building walls. Now you can't, like I say, you can't place where we've got upgrades. You also can't place on a site that's already protected from invasion by a wall. Okay, so this one is, this one is, right? These are all protected by this corner of walls. But the rules tell us they always want to protect the northernmost High Courtier building. And if there's more than one, like if these were the most northern, they'd go to the furthest west, which is this one. So the northernmost is this one. So this is where they're placing this soldier. And for protecting somebody else's building, you get two influence. For protecting one of your own, one influence. But that soldier means that building is protected without the need for walls. So they should be on two influence for that. Super. And I think we've concluded our turn, haven't we? Yep, we've taken our camel, placed this, we've gained a favour, we've gained one of these. All right, and we're quite a long way up this track. Now, I was tempted to go mosque again, because that's going to give me lots of points, but I kind of like to protect these next time. For now, I think we're done. So yellow is going at the back. Red has no camels. I do, but I'm in first place. And I'm going to go here and build some walls. So that means now I'm activating the blue buildings. I'm going to get a white cube. I'm going to get a purple cube and a blue cube. And my purple cubes are wild, remember, because of this boon on this breakthrough. So many decisions. This game is so deep. I mean, another option is I don't spend all these resources on walls, but I try and fulfill some contracts. Because the contracts are getting more expensive now. I've got three resources, so I could buy... I can buy a teal one with this cube. Right, that's that one. Everything else is going to cost two cubes now, but I do have two wilds. So I could buy two orange, or I could save one for a contract. So I'm going to use this purple cube as wild and grab an orange. Okay. Now I could have spent three and bought a gate, that was another option, but no, I'm going to use these two. So we'll use purple and teal. We're going to spend this white one anyway, but we're going to protect this building here. That's two influence, but you could protect this building here with that wall there. It's that one, two, three influence, right? The other option is we, we don't protect this building fully. You still get the influence, even if you don't protect it fully. It's just if it's within two spaces of the wall, right? That's all it means. We're not, we're not protecting it completely. So this one can be still be filled for can be hit from the bottom but if it's within two spaces of where we're placing the wall then it gains us the influence so i might actually do this i'm just going to do this i want to protect my buildings right now they're safe from invasion now good but it's only one two three influence but that's still pretty good because i've passed the three point for contracts and the four different spices point which i've not even looked at yet but maybe in my third year okay let's push on so I know he's going to try and build walls now as well, right? That's what's left. Yes. So where's he going to go? He can't go here. He's going to go here. There's one here as well. So there's one, two, three here. One, two, three here, but two of his buildings and two of the high courtiers. So he's going here. Okay. And he's going to grab the fewest cubes first, the least expensive ones first. And he's grabbing one, two, three walls. Okay, one. Everything else is going to cost two now, so then he's going to go by colour, purple next. So two, three. Okay, three walls. So priority one is two high courtiers buildings. There's no way you can place to protect two. One yellow and one red. So here is good. And here as well. Okay, so that's a red and a yellow, red and yellow. Are there any other spots that can protect red and yellow? I don't think there are. So notice, although there's a soldier here, you can still place the wall and gain the influence. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, that's six influence. He's got one more wall to place. And this time I'll try and protect two of his own. So it could be here, or it could be here. No, this is only one wall left. He's got to place one or the other, so he's got to decide. So what he does is he starts at the northwest spot and goes clockwise and fills that one. Okay, so that's the one he's going for. Now you're giving two more influence, right? So that's six, seven, eight. Agreed? These are not points, remember, it's just influence. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a point. Okay. Influence will start scoring the points now. And more influence. That's high points. Okay, we get to place this one. And do you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to fulfill our contract. We should have done that. Let's do that. And I wanted one that was going to score me favour. So I'm actually going to take this one. Okay. I think favour. I could have grabbed this one and that one gave me a soldier. And soldiers are good because it means I could have protected one of my buildings. But I think I will prefer the favour. Do I? It's two points versus one point and structure. Do you know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to take a soldier. Yeah. Soldiers are temporary. That's the only trouble. But buildings are permanent if I can protect them. Yeah. I'm going to take this one. Let's place this here. Figure it out. So I pay this. I pay this, I don't pay it, it's still mine. It sits on this card, fulfilling that contract, and a scroll the same. Right, that does go. I get four points and a soldier. So four points puts me up to 12. We're level. And my soldier is going to go here. I like to protect this row I got going for later, the end of the final year. Okay, um, I went first, didn't I? Then he went here, then I... Realised I hadn't done my contract. Okay, so he's going next. Let's just have him do nothing. Go here. End of turn. They've got no camels. I do, so I could go first, but I'm going to continue to hold the High Courtier's fate in my hand. So I'm going to save my camel. And now we've ended the year. So, invasion. And then scoring. So unfortunately, any buildings that don't survive don't make it to score points. Okay. Invasion's easy. We're just going to start and we're going to attack the first two squares from every direction. We can save buildings by paying a bribe. The corrupt magistrate has an infinite supply of resources. They're going to pay the bribes. So they're never attacked by the Mongol invasion because they're corrupt. They cheat all the time. Right, so from the north. We could pay a bribe of the orange and the blue, but I don't have any resources left. I spent them all. Okay. So these two buildings are going. He stays. He's fine. Now from this direction, this guy is protected by a soldier. So he stays. These two go. These are fine. He's corrupt. From the south, he goes. He goes. He's protected, he's protected, he's corrupt. I'm doing it from the east now. Saved, 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 saved. Those are the ones that are lost. We're the big loser here. We lost two points. Corrupt magistrates all still stand. Now, no matter what, all soldiers disappear. They perform their duty, off they go. Okay, back to their respective owners. So that protection only lasts for a short amount of time. So we do our points. Okay, one haul at a time. Library, we're going to spend a favour because we've got four scrolls and only two goods, so we don't worry about this one so much. This one's not going to score. I'd like to have had someone in here, but there you go, such as. So we got four points. They've also got a courtier in here. They've got three scrolls, one, two, three. So we've managed to pit them by one. So we're up to 16, they're up to 15. But they will score for this haul and we won't. We've got no favour left. And they've got one, two, three goods. So they've put us by three. They're up to 18. Then building score, we've got four. It takes us up to 20. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're up to 24. So they're extending their lead. They're in front by four points now. If we can go one more spot here, we would have gotten this. So yeah, just two resource cubes shy of lots and lots of points but I'm hoping in the final year we're going to get here we'll use a soldier to protect some of our points here and then we push on through we get more victory points as we go up this track so year three is going to be interesting join me next time to see how this plays out